It's coming up on your one year anniversary. To see Brian Murphy today. I'm glad you're back. You'd never know how close to death he came. Critically injured in the line of duty, he works now offering true empathy to other police officers hurt on the job as well. It's almost every officer who's been involved in that feel like they're out on an island all by themselves. And people say, I, I know what you're going through, but unless you were actually shot or stabbed in the line of duty, you don't. On this day, presenting a commendation to a Greenfield police officer shot on the job last year. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. And if you need anything, you got my number. He does this through his work with Armor Express, the company that made the bullet-resistant vest that helped save his life almost 10 years ago. Sunday morning, August 5th, 2012. Then police lieutenant Brian Murphy, working solo, responded to the sick temple grounds in Oak Creek to confront an active shooter. By the time backup arrived, Where's Murphy? We don't know where Murphy is. Murphy lay bleeding on the ground, shot 15 times after a gun battle on the parking lot with a white supremacist. The exchange captured on his own squad's dash cam. By getting the gunman out of the temple, Murphy saved many lives. After being shot by another officer, the gunman took his own life. He had killed seven worshipers in all. I'm laying in the hospital, and I'm watching the news, and the president of the temple says we forgive him. If they can forgive, and let's not kid each other, I didn't forgive spit. But I learned that I can't change that. I can't change that day, I can't change him, but I'm not gonna let him win by dictating my life because of what he did to me. We should follow the example of a police officer named Brian Murphy. Murphy received national recognition for his heroism, but in 2013, after 28 years in law enforcement, he retired. You miss it at all? Used to, <laughs> used to. Now he travels the country, speaking at law enforcement seminars about the temple shooting and post-traumatic stress. It's just building resilience. And, and understanding the only thing you can control is you. And beyond that, it's how you react to everything that's gonna make the difference on whether it's good or bad. When you see the video of all the Uvalde officers gathering in the school hallway and not forging into that classroom, what is your reaction? If you hear the sounds of shots, then you have to go stop the sounds of shots. But the shots stop, then it becomes a hostage situation. That's a different tactic. Once the second round of shots started going off, action had to have been taken. Somebody should have formulated a plan. And if you're running from shots, you shouldn't be there. You shouldn't be there in the first place. And I do look at this and I think, how do you live with yourself knowing that you didn't do your job? How, how do you wake up in the morning, look yourself in the eye in the mirror and go, I'm good with what I did. He knows his work matters, like when a Connecticut officer who had been to one of his seminars told him. You were the reason why I ran into Sandy Hook. I remember everything you said and everything you did, and I thought to myself, that's what I'm going to be, and that's what I'm going to do. Murphy will speak at the vigil to mark the 10th anniversary of the Temple shooting. That's the only thing I can talk about is, man, we got to move on. We don't forget those people who died simply because somebody didn't like the way they looked or had a different ideology. But we can't let the legacy of the horribleness of that day outweigh the good that everyone here has done and everyone's willing to do. Murphy is 60 years old and still needs regular injections in his throat because bullets damaged his vocal cords that day. He also suffered gunshot wounds to his chest, hand, and legs, but he chooses not to focus on that, rather on the goodness of people, saying that is so much more prevalent and that's what gets him through. Mm -hmm. And he will speak at that temple August 5th in a public vigil that starts at 6 that night. Everyone is welcome to attend. His incredible strength and determination that day and, and even now, 10 years later, helping people get through tough situations Just like that. Focusing on the goods. It's inspirational to be around him and to listen to him. It is, certainly is.